This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here unboxing the Gamdias Hebe M1. So you get an RGB gaming headset with nice cool lights on the side, which always looks nice, but obviously you don't need lights to sound. So I want to know how the sound is. I really like my Gamdias mouse. I'm using my Gamdias mouse, which is really, really excellent right now, and they make good keyboards. So this is my first time reviewing a Gamdias headset. I'm going to unbox it, show you what it looks like, my first impressions, and then I'll do a full review. Take me a few weeks, I'll do some live streaming with it, test out the mic, make sure the sound sounds good, that kind of thing. So let's open up the box. Now this does offer virtual 7.1 sound. As you know, the virtual 7.1 means that there's a sound card on the headset that interprets stereo sound and uses sound delay tricks to make it simulate 7.1 sound. It's not true 7.1 sound, but it usually does a pretty good job. So pulling the Game DS Heavy M1 out of the box, you can see it is a wired gaming headset. It's got a really, really thick cord that you can see it's braided and plastic coated on top of the braid. You can see the earphone cushions right here. Makes a nice snug fit on the ear. The microphone off to the left retracts and extends to give you your microphone. It has a nice feel to it. The band on the head is really, really useful. Um, it has no weak points that would cause it to break. This is solid metal right here, very flexible. Look how wide I could stretch it without any risk of it damaging. It's got a lot of flexibility there, so it can accommodate any size head with ease. You got your control box on it, which obviously has your mic mute on and off, the controls the lights on the side, your volume up and down buttons right here, and what appears to be, I would guess this is your vibration for creating vibration for bass sound right here. Again, it is a really thick cord, but it does come with a nice little cable tie built in, which is appreciated. Here's the cord, USB plug on the top. It is, like I said, you see how thick this is? This is a really thick cord. But because it is braided and plastic coated, it's got a lot of weight to it, but it's not really in the way. It doesn't tangle, it doesn't twist. Because of the thickness of the cord, you're not gonna get this thing crimping because it's just too thick. So that part's nice. Um, it feels really good on the ears. You can see the grill where the lighting would line up here, the little dot holes here, and this is the Hebe M1. I'm looking forward to testing it out. Stay tuned, I will have a mic review. I'll be doing some live streaming, letting you hear how the mic sounds and everything. So stay tuned. This is a test, testing the microphone on the Gamdias Hebe M1. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.